I've started using new remote access software for my smart home that's incredible. This one's called Tailscale. I've used a lot of different virtual private network hardware and software, and they've all been costly, confusing, and flaky. And it's finally something that's easy, works like a charm, and is totally free for personal use. The best part, it's not just for nerds and geeks. It's available for all of us. Stick around, and I'll show you how to use it and why it's so cool. Now you might be wondering why you even need remote access. In the last few years, there's been a huge movement away from cloud connected devices and back to having full local control. But there's one big drawback. You must be in your home to do anything. As our smart home systems grow, having remote access to control the devices inside our homes from anywhere becomes invaluable. Remotely controlling the heating and cooling system makes arriving at a cold home in the winter a thing of the past. Say goodbye to soaring energy costs just because you forgot to turn off the AC or heat when you're already at the airport. Remote access is valuable for all these smart home tasks and much more. Tailscale is a type of VPN or virtual private network. VPNs can be used to link separate networks together. They can also link a single remote person, that's you or me, back to their home network. On the local side, you just plug in a special VPN box, or in this case, install the free Tailscale software. On the remote end, you can use a cellular or Wi-Fi internet access. Installation on the Mac is really easy. I'll go to the tailscale.com website. The web page lists all the different systems that are supported, including desktop computers and smartphones. It usually automatically detects the type of system, or I can select it manually. I'll click on the link and follow the instructions to finish the installation. It's really easy and only takes a few seconds. For the Mac, it will take me to the Mac App Store. Click on the Get or Open button to install, or in my case, I'll click on the cloud icon to download and install it again, since I've already had it running. When the installation is finished, I see the Welcome to Tailscale completion message and a Get Started button. The next step will vary slightly depending upon whether you've already started using Tailscale on another system. I'm asked to sign in to continue. For privacy and security reasons, Tailscale doesn't have its own password system, so choose from one of the trusted systems listed. Typically, I'll use a Google Gmail account as I can always create a new free one if needed. Here's how to install Tailscale on the iPhone. Click on the App Store, search for Tailscale, click on it in the search result. You can read further information about the app and then install it. Here I've used it previously, so I'll click on it to install again. After it's installed, click on Open to start it up. Now click on the Get Started button. Now you'll see a prompt asking you to confirm the VPN configuration. Because VPNs affect personal privacy and security, the iPhone asks for your explicit permission before allowing any app to create a VPN. Click on Allow to proceed. You'll be prompted for your device passcode to confirm the VPN configuration. As Tailscale continues to install, it prompts you to sign in. For privacy, Tailscale doesn't have its own password system, so click Continue to choose a login method. Once you're signed in, Tailscale shows a summary screen with the name of your device and the name of your Tailscale network and is ready to go. Click on the Connect button to connect to the Tailscale VPN network. The first time, Tailscale will ask permission to send notifications. I always enable all notifications from apps, and then later I adjust them if they are too annoying or simply not needed. Once connected, the letters VPN will appear in the upper right status bar, and the status indicator toggle will show that Tailscale is active. First, let me set a baseline of showing how remote access from an iPhone normally doesn't work. To set things up, I'll switch to a cellular connection by completely turning off Wi-Fi on my iPhone. This simulates being away from home using only a cellular connection from anywhere in the world, trying to remotely access smart home devices or services inside my home. In this case, I want to remotely access and view the security cameras that I have installed and connected to a network video recorder or NVR. The NVR 
is a Mac application called Security Spy that's running on a desktop Mac in my home that's on 24 hours a day. This could also be a dedicated box or any other system for recording from security cameras. So if you're using a different product, things would look slightly different, but the same techniques apply. On my iPhone, I'm opening the Tailscale app and making sure the VPN is switched off. Now I'm returning to the home screen and opening the iPhone settings. In the Wi-Fi section, I'm going into the Wi-Fi option and verifying that I'm turning off Wi-Fi connectivity. Returning to the home screen, I'm opening the Security Spy remote viewing app for the network video recorder. You can see I already have a Security Spy server name configured, so I'm just clicking on it to attempt remote access back to my home system. After a few seconds, connection fails because access has been restricted to only work when I am home and on the same local and private network as the recorder server itself. And that's exactly as desired. Now I will show you how I can remotely access the Security Spy surveillance server remotely quickly and easily. From the iPhone home screen, I'm going into the settings app and verifying that Wi-Fi is turned off, so I'm only using a cellular connection for remote access. Back at the home screen, I'm opening the Tailscale app and I'm sliding the toggle at the upper left to turn the Tailscale VPN on. As it switches on, the letters VPN briefly appear in the upper right of the screen and the status changes from stopped to active. Easy peasy. That's all I have to do. It's really simple. Now that Tailscale is enabled, back at the home screen, I just open the Security Spy mobile app. As before, I click on the name of the Security Spy server that's already configured, and faster than you can say Tailscale Virtual Private Network is awesome, it connects and shows a live feed from the remote cameras. The top camera is a live camera view of a guest bedroom. If you pay careful attention, you'll see that the guest bedroom has a TV turned on and tuned to the official NASA channel. The bottom camera is a live camera view that's showing the video feed from the TV in the same guest room. I'm showing off a bit of a smart home parlor trick using a hardware video encoder, taking the HDMI feed going into the TV, digitizing it to a virtual CCTV camera, which is then feeding into the Security Spy server system. So yeah, sort of a poor man's video distribution system and a DIY video recorder at the same time. What's important here is that I have private and secure, real-time, live, remote access from anywhere in the world to see two camera feeds coming from a server inside my home. And not only can I see the remote live feed, but I can listen to the audio too. Hey, if this video is being helpful to you, a subscribe would mean a lot to me. What that does for me is it gives me an indicator that I am building an audience and that I am creating helpful content for people. Here's the top five reasons I have switched to Tailscale. It's free. It's easy to install and use. It's pure software. It runs on everything, Mac, Windows, Linux, iPhone, and Android. You don't have to install anything on your existing home router or Wi-Fi system. The last one's a biggie. No messing around with your existing network gear. Especially valuable if you're using the internet modem, router, Wi-Fi from your internet provider or you're in an apartment, condo, or other residence where you might not even have access or control over your internet connection devices. The Tailscale software I'm showing you here is a great solution, but it isn't the only method. I've got an article posted on my website that goes into more detail and some of these other options. I'll put a link to it in the description below this video if you'd like to see that.